his secret identity. He is Oliver Queen, living in Star City as a wealthy playboy and billionaire industrialist turned outspoken, socially progressive politician. He is the leader of Team Arrow. He has also been a member of the Justice League and the Outsiders. Origin. As a young child, Oliver idolized his hero Robin Hood and was said to be a natural archer, frequently practicing with his bow and arrows. He was mildly traumatized the first time he accidentally killed an animal, but when his mother and father were mauled by lions in a tragic safari accident, his hesitation to shoot cost them their lives. Afterwards, he was raised by his uncle and eventually inherited the family fortune and business. The family fortune, oops, sorry, Queen grew into a rich, thrill-seeking, and drunken playboy with no real sense of responsibility or direction in his life. Everything changed when he fell off his boat in the middle of the ocean washed ashore on the remote, isolated starfish island, clutching a bow, a memento from a Robin Hood movie, which he had used to keep himself afloat, where he was completely stranded. During this time spent without food or shelter, Queen developed his skills as a hunter to survive and gain mastery over his bow. Having previously taken everything in his life for granted, this experience taught him self-reliance and made him into a man. His second test of new character was the discovery of drug smugglers on the island run by the ruthless international crime lord, China White. Using his new skills, he attacked and destroyed their heroin operation, then delivered them to the authorities before returning home. Realizing that he had found his destiny, he chose to use his abilities and resources as a crime fighter. With a nickname coined by the press, he made it his mission to protect Star City. He took his cue from Batman and built his own arrow cave, complete with an arrow car and allegedly a yellow submarine. He and Speedy fought with trick arrows that were designed to be non-lethal. an inc incredible archer, having grown up on a Native American reservation. His mentor, Brave Bow, was dying and he needed someone to take care of him, so he wanted to become Green Arrow's sidekick, proving his mettle by taking down several thugs faster than he could while they were both on the scene. Oliver adopted Roy as his legal go on to fight crime, taking the name Speedy. Speedy would later team up with a number of other costumed youths to form the Teen Titans, including Aqualad, Kid Fish, Robin, and Wonder Girl. See, um, now I've watched the show sister was Speedy, and Roy Harper was um, Arsenal. Um, I don't know, I, I guess maybe something changed or something, I don't know. If you could leave a comment below and either confirm what I'm saying is
is true or not. Uh, I would appreciate that. Um, okay, so Justice League. Green Arrow would go on to become a member of the Justice League of America. Although there are multiple versions of this story. Originally, the Silver Age showed up, showed him joining after he rescued the League from an evil alien named Xandor. Post-crisis stories retconned Superman, Batman, and Wonder Woman out of this story, making several other changes. Queen Enterprises secretly funded the Burley League, never revealing his identity and speaking to them through Simon Carr. Eventually, the team voted him in as their sixth member. Infinite Crisis brought back the League's original founders and beginnings. Green Arrow is shown to have joined at the same time as Black Canary, proving their value in combat against the League of Assassins. He would go on to have many further adventures with them. began developing a personal crisis about which of his identities was more important and doing more good, the crime fighter or the politician. Giving himself a new look, he had a more modern costume designed. His entire fortune and control of Queen Industries was lost to a corrupt employee named John. stole everything from him through corporate fraud. The League fights manifestations of their inner darkness, and he is confronted by his character values in combat. Failures. Part of him has only chosen to be a hero for the thrill and glory, but he realizes that he defines himself by his ability to control those instincts for the greater to reevaluate his priorities and learns to focus more on the everyday problems of regular people. In the ensuing year after losing his fortune, Ollie travels the country with Green Lantern, Hal Jordan, while his left behind war dabbled with drugs that caused the two to go their separate ways. Late one night, while fighting an ambush under duress, Green Arrow's arm slipped an inch and he accidentally shot a criminal in the chest, killing him instantly. The experience was so traumatizing for him that he ripped up his costume, destroyed his equipment, and decided to end his heroic career entirely. After destroying the to live in a monastery to seek redemption and get back in touch with his roots for several months. A wise man named Master Jensen taught him the secrets of Zen archery and encouraged him not to abandon his destiny, sending him home and with a renewed confidence in himself. some about his personality now. Oliver Queen has a very dynamic personality. His passion and intensity make him strong, although he has always had difficulty finding direction in life. Born into wealth, he didn't need to work for most of what he had, and was raised with very little responsibility. His experience on Starfish Island taught him self-reliance and showed him there was more to existence, giving him an outlet. In the beginning of his career, he has been portrayed as a thrill-seeker, fighting crime not for moral reasons, but 
of the sense of adventure. It wasn't until he lost his fortune that he developed his strong social conscience and outspoken left-wing political viewpoints. This character development has made him much less egotistical in the way he deals with problems. Romantic Relationships His attitude towards women has been shown to vary over the years, although he is consistently more attracted to dangerous types. Oliver was originally shown to be a very faithful and enduring partner to his longtime interest, Black Canary. Although he has committed infidelity and retcons to his personality, made him more womanizing. This is something he has worked hard to overcome and eventually proves himself when he becomes engaged to the Black Canary. Powers and Abilities Acrobatics He has displayed on many occasions that he is an expert in acrobatics often uses this skill while evading enemy fire. Archery. Oliver Queen is perhaps the finest archer ever known. He claims to be able to shoot 29 arrows per minute. He has a wide variety of trick arrows, ranging from bola arrows to time bombs infamous boxing glove arrows. In recent years, he has used these arrows sparingly, preferring the time-tested simple arrow. Green Arrow has shown the ability to shoot an, an arrow down the barrel of a gun, pierce a drop of water as it leaves a dab, and shoot almost any part of the human body. Although he only to wound and not kill when he shoots. He once shot two arrows down two different gun barrels while upside down in mid-flip while somersaulting off a building. Aviation He used to own and fly his own airplane called the Aeroplane. He still has some skill in flying of planes. Cooking. Green Arrow's chili is one of the hottest foods on the planet. Firearms. Although not his preferred weapon, Oliver is very skilled in the use of firearms. He has displayed great accuracy with handguns and machine guns. He was even told by Deathstroke that he handles himself well with firearms. Hunting. Archery is by far Oliver's preferred method of hunting. However, the ability to hunt comes from years of training, patience, and survival. He is proficient enough in hunting to, to pursue a cougar without it ever noticing. Martial arts. Is proficient in several forms of hand-to-hand -hand combat, including judo, kickboxing, and karate. Proclaimed as a martial arts master, he has shown the ability to take on seven people at once. He spent several months dedicating to dedicated to making himself a better fighter and trained with many of the world's finest martial arts teachers and even went through training from Natas, the person who trained Deathstroke. Peak Human Condition Oliver spent a fortune to hire the world's foremost martial arts masters to train him until he was in peak physical condition. Ali ran for office 
office and became the mayor of Star City for a significant amount of time. He has since resigned from being the mayor and has continued to displayed when he gained the upper hand in a fight with Arsenal while using one of his Eskrima sticks. Swordsmanship. Ali is also very proficient with a sword, though it is not his preferred weapon of choice. He has beaten Jason Todd in a sword fight and has deflected an incoming arrow with the sword he a master marksman and possesses great aim with projectile objects such as darts in addition to his skill in archery. Weaponry. Oliver is proficient in the use of an array of weaponry including archery sticks and various bladed weapons. Strength level. Extensive archery training. Ali's arm strength is superior to that of the average man. He once broke free from a metal chain over a course of a few hours. Um, some equipment that the Green Arrow uses is the custom bow and quiver. Um, some transportation that he has used is arrow boat. Some weapons are um, the katana and trick arrows. Now, I want to also say that I am reading this off the DC Wiki um, Green Arrow site, so if something is not correct, then I apologize. Um, and I'll finish up with a little bit of trivia. for Green Arrow include the Emerald Archer, Ace Archer, and the Battling Bowman. There is a running gag that Green Arrows bear, that the Green Arrow bears a strong physical resemblance to Warlord, another character illustrated by Mike Grell. The two men actually in Seattle and half the criminal population tried to murder him under a mistaken identity. Aquaman mistakes Warlord for Oliver when he travels to the mythical land of Skartars. Dead Man also makes fun of this stirring quiver. Oliver Queen's death in the plane explosion is a reference to the Green Arrow of Earth. Returns features an older version of Oliver who bears a grudge against Superman for an unspecified incident in which his arm was ripped off. Yeah, I'd be pissed also. Um, Oliver Queen's powers, if any, remain unknown. It has been rumored that the Green Arrow may in fact be a meta human. The Department Extranormal Operations has a classified dos dossier on Queen wherein they indicate such a possibility, but as of yet, this information has not been confirmed nor denied. Ollie has a rare RH negative blood type, the same as his former lover, Black Canary. Ollie's left arm sometimes cause him pain due to an old injury. He once took an arrow to his left side, chipping his bone which never healed properly. Okay guys, that's all I got for this.
this episode of Archer ASMR. As always, if I get some good uh, comments and feedback and some of you guys want uh, a part two to this, I will go ahead and get that done. But, um, yeah, so I hope you liked the, the lore rating and also some of the gameplay. And if, you, if so, please hit that like button and comment below. Let me know if I missed anything or something was not correct. And also, please, if you would feed the llama, uh, I would really appreciate that. Just hit that subscribe button and you can feed the llama one sub. So, um, with that having been said, I will see you on Thursday.